parallel versus serial. A lot of people think that because serial ATA, SATA, replaced parallel ATA, PATA, which was also sometimes called IDE, that serial is always better than parallel. And that's usually the opposite of what's happening. Serial means that you do things in the order that they are assigned to you. So let's say that I'm working as the processor and I'm going to work in serial. I would say today I'm going to mop the floor, make cupcakes, and shoot some videos. If I woke up in the morning and mopped the floor, made the cupcakes, and shot the videos, that would be serial. If I was able to do them in parallel, or there were two of me, me and my assistant, I could be shooting videos while somebody else mopped the floor and made the cupcakes. Now, there's also what's called concurrency, which is the ability to slice or work on different things based on the demands that each of them requires. I can't mop the floor and make videos. Uh, they require two different actions. But cupcakes spend eight minutes at a time baking. So I can mix the batter, put them into the pans, put them in the oven, and during the eight minutes that it's baking, I can step over here, make a video. The timer will tick away, and when the alarm goes off, I switch from making videos to making cupcakes. And if I don't do that, if I just continue to make the videos, my cupcakes burn. Processors do very similar type things. You can be playing a game and using all of the cycles of the processor, but in the background, Windows Update is running and is slowly sucking down the bytes for a file in your spare CPU cycles. You're not using 100% of the CPU cycles all the time. And the network reads come from a different part of the processor in I.O. than the core CPU that's doing the calculations for your game. So you can have concurrency. 